Hi, St. John family. Welcome to another week's Children's Worship Service lesson. I hope you had a great week and that you were kind and, and helpful, and I hope you learned a lot. Before we get started, let's, let's pray. God, we thank you for this opportunity that we have to study your word. God, we want to be reminded constantly that everything that's good in our lives comes from you. So we thank you for that. We're moving to distractions right now as we prepare to receive our lesson. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, hello, everyone. If I've never met you before, well, my name is Brother Raymond. And if this is your first time here, let me tell you, you've picked a great day to come to the St. John Church. Now, this month, we're talking about being generous and how God shows us every day what generosity is all about. So did you know that we can make huge differences in somebody's day just by giving something away? It's true. Now, of course, the things God gives us are all good things. That's what we find in our memory verse for this month. It's in James chapter 1 at verse 17. So check it out. It says, Every good and perfect gift is from God. And that's really important for us to remember. Everything good in our lives comes from God. And we can trust God no matter what. So we'll take a closer look at that verse in a minute. But first, it's time to worship God together. Now, worship reminds us of who God is and what God is doing in our lives. Okay? So we have a new song to teach you today, and it's called All Your Love Inside. And I'm so thankful that I've experienced the love of God. God's love is always there for us and, and it's always good. This song is about taking the love we have for God and giving it away. So once you catch on, sing along with us. You ready? Well, here we go.
Yes, we are so thankful for the love God gives. Worship is about showing honor to God and, and saying thank you. Now, as we read in Psalm 106 and 1, praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. And I, I, I know everybody has, like you've had an experience of something good that God has done in your life. So think about that as we head on over to our lesson. All right, everybody, today we get to take a look at the Bible and talk about how God gives us good gifts. The Bible is true, trustworthy, and helpful in our everyday lives, and I'm excited to read it with you today. Now, today we're looking at a book called James, which was written by a man named, well, you guessed it, James. Now, James was a half-brother of Jesus, which is pretty amazing to think about. James became a follower of Jesus and believed that Jesus is God's son. In fact, James gave his life to help lead the church. Now, James wanted everyone to have faith in Jesus like he did, but he didn't want them to stop there. James believed that it was important for us to put faith into action. Now, he didn't think we should just believe in Jesus and then never do anything with our faith. He knew that if people put their faith into action, they could make a difference in the world as they shared God's love with others. Now, here's what James had to say about the things God has given us. Now, this is our memory verse for this month. It's James chapter 17, which we've already read today. So say it with me. Every good and perfect gift is from God. Very good. Say it again. Every good and perfect gift is from God. Now, this Bible verse is pretty simple. It's not very complicated. There aren't a lot of big or confusing words. And you can pretty much understand what it means after just one time reading it. Every good and perfect gift is from God. The idea might be simple, but that doesn't mean it's not a big deal. You see, the good things in our lives are gifts from God. If we have a place to stay, that's a gift from God. The food we eat is a gift from God. We can be thankful when God provides what we need. Some of you have pets. Our furry friends are gifts from God for sure. Some of you get to do activities like sports or music or dance. If you get to do something you love, that's a gift from God. God also gives us things in our lives that are just fun, like games. And there are many different types of gifts that God gives us. The ones we talked about here and so many more. Now, it can be easy to look at the things others have and feel jealous or wish we had what they have. But here's the truth. Any good thing we have in life, whether it's tiny or whether it's the most amazing blessing we've ever experienced. It all comes from God. And the more we realize that God gives us good things, the easier it is to trust God. So let's focus on some good gifts that all of us have in common. Here's one. God has given us life. Everyone, take a deep breath in. And release. Every single breath you take is a reminder of the life God gave you. Here's another. God has given you people to love and care for you. Can you think of some people in your life who love you and take care of you? How about this one? God created this incredible world for us to live in. Sometimes I forget to notice just how beautiful the trees and the sky can be. God is also there to give us wisdom and guidance. Those are amazing gifts from God. Maybe you're facing a problem and you're not sure what to do about it. God might give you wisdom as you read the words of Scripture. I know I like to read from the book of Psalm when I'm feeling scared or confused. The book of Psalms is full of prayers to God from David and other writers. And those words can encourage us and give us comfort. We can also turn to the New Testament and read about Jesus. We can see the way he lived and how he showed others to love everyone. And that leads us to our last gift. 
there's still one more, better, more incredible and more perfect gift that God has given us. And it's better than any other gift you could ever think of. Yes, it's Jesus. God sent Jesus to this world to be our Savior. On the cross, Jesus gave up his perfect life to pay for all the mistakes we've ever made or will make. And when we choose to put our faith in Jesus and follow him, we are forgiven. We have the promise of life forever with God. So Jesus is a gift from God for all of us. Now we know this is true. All of us are different. We have different lives and different possessions and different personalities. As we think about all the different kinds of gifts from God, we might notice that we have different things in our lives than someone else does. But there are some gifts from God that all of us have in common. And those are the important ones. We know that God has given us life. God has given us people who love us and take care of us. God has given us amazing, this amazing world that we see around us. God has given us the Bible so we can discover who God is. Read God's stories and remember that God is with us. And God has given us Jesus. So remember what James wrote. Every good and perfect gift is from God. Anything good in your life comes from God. So when you experience something good, you can stop and thank God for it. And even when things don't seem to be going your way, remember the things that are always true. Remember the good gifts that God has given you. Remember that God loves you and God is with you. Remember that God sent Jesus for you. If you've never made the decision to follow Jesus, I want to let you know that it's really very simple. All you need to do is talk to God and tell God that you put your faith in Jesus as your Savior. If you've never made that decision before, talk to your leader about it and the people you live with. They can help you understand what it means to accept God's gift and follow Jesus with your whole life. So remember this. It's our bottom line. God gives us good things. Say that with me. God gives us good things. One more time. God gives us good things. Thank you. It's important for us to remember that all good things come from God. Like this time we have together here at the St. John Church. This is definitely a gift from God. And what James wrote is simple, but so true. We shouldn't forget that God gives us good things. And it's easy for me to get distracted or jealous when I think about what other people have. I need to focus on what I do have, not what I don't have. When I focus my mind on the right things, I realize that I have way more than I thought I did. No matter what else happens in my life, I know that God loves me. God is with me. And God sent Jesus to be my Savior so I can have a relationship with God that lasts forever. So, what do you do when you feel like you're having a hard time remembering the gifts God has given you? Well, I like to pray and ask God to, to, to help me. Help me to remember the gifts I'm not seeing. That helps remind me of God's generosity. And it's true. God gives us good things. God is generous. And generosity is about making someone's day by giving something away. You know what? I think that might be my new favorite word. I love it. The more we notice and thank God for being generous to us, the easier it is for us to live with generosity too. So let's pray and ask God to help us notice the good gifts that are all around us. God, thank you for the way you love us. Thank you for what we learned today, that every good and perfect gift in our lives comes from you. We want to notice the gifts you've given us and to thank you for them. God, help us to see your gifts every day and to be grateful for them. 
and to share them with others. Thank you for Jesus, the best gift of all. We love you. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's my time. Thank you for joining me this week. My prayer is that you remember that God gives us good things and you make every effort to be generous. That means giving something away. So until I see you next time, may God bless you and your family. Go be generous. Bye.